Okay, so uh, here we are. Again, with the caviar, the moment of truth, the big taste test. Um, I had quite a struggle getting the lid off because uh, it's kind of a small... But I'll show you what it looks like inside. There you go, that's quite a decent shot actually. So they're fairly small, these eggs, because they're from a younger sturgeon. Um, the guy explained to me that the, the price difference isn't about quality, it's about scarcity, apparently. And of course the larger eggs from the older fish are less common, you know, they're, they're rarer. Uh, and having done some research um, as to how I should serve them, the simplest way seems to be with little squares of toasted bread with some butter on. Now the butter is unsalted. Mm, delicious French unsalted bread. Um, it, help, it helps keep the caviar on the bread for one thing. Um, there are fancy ways of serving with uh, cultured cream or sour cream and and also the big arguments about what you should serve them with in terms of drink. Now, I'm not a huge fan of vodka. Iced vodka, of course, is, is kind of the traditional Russian way. And at the shop where I bought this, they had some, uh, had some lemon vodka, which actually looked quite nice, but I'm not a big fan of vodka. So, uh, Champagne. I do actually have a bottle of champagne in the fridge, but I'm not really in a mood for champagne. And also, I want to get the full-on um, caviar experience. Um, so I'm I'm going to uh, wash it down, as it were, with uh, some San Pellegrino. Um, and I've got some other bits and pieces here, which I'm going to eat afterwards. Some wonderful and some fabulous. Some cheese there. Let me see the cheese. Mm. Um, ham on the Sabbath. But uh, for the duration of this uh, holiday, uh, I am not keeping kosher. I keep my own version of kosher at home. I don't buy kosher meat. We'll go into all that one day, I'm sure. But uh, but I don't buy kosher slaughtered meat because I don't approve of it. Um, but I don't generally eat treif. And here we've got, the, as it turns out, caviar is not kosher. Although some say it is. But having thought about it, I still think it's appropriate to say the blessing. Uh, join in at home if you wish. I'm sure you all know the blessing for food, the general blessing for food, which is actually a blessing for bread. Lechem. Lechem is Hebrew for bread. And Beth, or Beit, is, uh, means house. So Beth Lechem means house of bread. There you go. If nothing else, you've learned what Bethlehem means. Uh, so we'll uh, we'll say the blessing. Baruch Atah Adonai Elheinu Malach Alam Asher Kishanu B'Mitzvotav Betivalu Anetariat Yadayim. That's actually the blessing for washing of hands. Baruch Atah Adonai Elheinu Malach Alam Hamotzi Lachem Min Haaretz Lachaim. Right, well, I have had uh, caviar before, but I've never had it at home. I've never actually gone out and, and bought some caviar. So, with my mother of pearl spoon and my toasted bread, that's about a decent quantity to stick on a piece. 
lovely that's just a quick word about the appearance i see the odd one in here that is a lighter color sort of a greeny gray but mostly it's black and shiny and um well you know that big you see those three there one underneath okay well here we go it's a fly trying to get in on the edge if you want to be in the show come to the fucking rehearsals so um that's pretty much as i remember it um and his back look for his encore um it's nothing at all like mock caviar you get those um uh you know, little jars in waitrose of mock caviar uh which tastes like fish eggs now i did mention in my last video that caviar tastes of fish eggs that was a joke well spotted those of you who thought no it doesn't because it really doesn't it doesn't taste fishy at all if i told you that they were snail eggs which apparently you can get or i don't know snake eggs you'd believe me because um, they don't taste of fish Mm -mm. slightly salty with a um with the richness going on if you want to just get the the quintessential caviar taste then that's the way to do it apparently and kind of squish them between your tongue and the roof of your mouth i'm not going to um not going to force you to sit and watch me eat all of this 30 grams of caviar we'll have another bit as i say that's about you don't want to put too much on but then again if you don't put enough on you don't really taste the caviar you just taste the uh, toast so about that much look mm. you turn them over in your mouth squish them with your tongue don't get in there straight away with your teeth we'll do one more um i um i shan't be buying them back home um yeah that, as i said before this is just kind of a special treat um but i'm glad i bought them they are oh, deeper down there are some more of the i don't know if this will show up or not that there are some lighter colored ones does it show in there i don't know um but i'm glad i did hmm. sixty euros worth of good well if i were buying them on a regular basis then i think i would quickly tire of shelling out that much money for so little but um but actually better than i remember them to be honest and i've had beluga oh yes in the olden days when i worked in the hotel catering industry 
Um, whenever the head chef's back was turned, we all had our fingers in the beluga. That sounds like a euphemism, but it's not. We all had our fingers in the beluga. And um, uh, it was a sackable offence because you can, with beluga, you stick your finger in there, you can come out with 30 quid's worth. So, um, yeah. I think um, <coughs> if anyone was under the illusion that, you know, I've got etiquette, then uh, I think that was proved otherwise. So, yeah, I'm going to carry on um, eating this and then munch my way through my ham and, and some cheese. And uh, and I think it was it was money well spent. I've um, I've really enjoyed it. I'm not. Um, I was thinking, oh well, I'll, I'll try some different dips. You know, the, you know, different things to put on. Some people say lemon juice. Then other people say it just tastes like lemon juice. Um, so I think that the simple way was the best. And um, yeah, very enjoyable. I'll just enjoy this for all of us. Okay. Yeah. Bye.